can see the luxury apartments now. <laughs> what do you think, Vic? I think I've got 150 quid's worth of Italian leather full of duck feathers. Uh, swan feathers. 3,000 swans come here every year. Medieval monks used to eat them, you know. I thought you said there was a lid on this. Isn't that what you said? Yeah, of course, that's what I said. <laughs> you know me, Vic. I wouldn't tell my own mother the time of day. <laughs> now, what I said was, if you come up with your two million, Paradise Beach will be ours. Read this. Well, nothing from Melanie, if that's what you mean. I haven't rung. You haven't rung? Or is she? I haven't got her number. Mm. Mr. Bass there, then. As it were. Quite on. Thank you. Have you seen this? He's got a partner on this one, I hear. Big plans to turn that beach from paradise to purgatory. Yeah, what about the swans? Oh, soon they'll be able to play crazy golf. You've seen who they've interviewed? Our green crusader. <laughs> oh, no. Would you believe? Our pillar of the community. <laughs> environmental carnage and you call that progress the place has potential the place has beauty it's fulfilled its potential leave it alone we're talking full leisure complex you here. talking money that's all yeah, and there speaks a man who'll never make any but appreciates the worth of a place like paradise worth i'll tell you what it's worth today four million pounds three years from now triple it my point exactly Sea trout. Far too big for one. I'm sure Liam will help oh, you out. Best is smart in months. You planning on showing him? I can't return the soil goods. There's a problem at Paradise. There's been some sort of spillage, and Jake and Liam were just covered in it, and I don't know what it is, so. I'll check it out. Okay. Um, th uh, about this uh, uh, fish, he's not very big on fish. <laughs> Put a sauce on it. Um, what are you doing tomorrow night? Mike, are you asking me for supper to share that fish with you? Yeah. Good. Glad that's clear then. Eight o'clock, okay? Yeah. Great. There's a 
There's nothing sexier than a shiny ZX100C, eh? But sadly, we need the 4B4, some sort of spillage. Where? Paradise. I think I've just been there. For a successful interview, always dress to impress. George Blaine, eco-warrior. You can forget that, lad. Dad, image is everything. Come on, a curtain ring through the nose, it ain't gonna hurt. No! Oh, come on, how about we give you one of those little ponytails, then? Or how about a lipster? Look, lad, I'm doing this for your mum. I know you are, Dad. Well, me and you want the same thing. And what's that? To get one back at Tony Simpson. And what else? I don't know. To see your mother. When are you going to go and see her, Jace? When I'm ready. I can't at the moment. I'm busy. There's just not enough time. What are you up to, Jason? Fully functional, 8 o'clock in the morning. It's not natural. <laughs> what is it? Well, it stinks, doesn't it? Possibly toxic. Hey, don't touch it. Oh, you just watch me touch it. Great, now I'm going to go all green and flaky. We'll get some to the environmental labs. It'd take the uh, Jeep, call the fire brigade and bring the tractor. Go on. Oh, jeez. <laughs> it's pig swill. That's all it is. Some wally of a farmer's gone and dumped a couple of barrels of pig swill. Yeah, well, maybe, maybe not. Let's find out. <laughs> he's, he's taking samples. He's only taking samples. There is no marine growth on any of them. Well, there wouldn't be, not if it were toxic. Anyway, this stretch of coastline is my responsibility. Yeah, well, then act responsible. We don't need a great deal of fuss about this. Right, Vic? Yeah, well, I'm not interested in your business deals. Just what's in the public interest. What do you know about public interest? You know what interests the public? Caravan parks, amusement arcades, fairgrounds, theme parks. The rest is just pig swill. So don't you dare screw this up for me. Tony, yourself, please. Oh, it's no good. I I've got to get out of here. Overdosed on sea air already. Listen to it, the glories of the seaside. Can you imagine what Simpson plans on a bigger scale at Paradise? The Lord save us from Simpson's grand design. The Lord or George Blaine. I want to be a lawyer. I want to be a respected professional. I want to provide a useful service to someone. Yes! I need change. Then go and play on the beach. Jake, okay? I think so. Uh, he's at his grams. Michael sort it. He'll find out what it is. He's good like that. He's good at most things. I know. Heard from Mel? Mel? Why? We're not close. He hasn't wrong her. So? Why should I be interested? It's a fish supper. We're having a fish supper. We're sharing a sea trout. Enjoy it. With my blessing. <laughs> Doing? What do you think you're doing? Hold the cherries and nudge. Mine's a bite, please, landlord. Thank you. This swamp is granddad. I am right, aren't I? There is poison in paradise. Well, we're having it tested. Can't rule it out. Yeah, nor rule it in. So what does the voice of Bridehaven have to say about new jobs, round-the-clock entertainment, tourist income? Can I quote you? <laughs> I've got an interview in half an hour. They're bound to ask. <laughs> Somebody's got to expose the facts. I love this community, and I love the people in it, and I want to make a difference. Oh, you'll make a difference, all right. You carry on like this, all the punters will leave. <laughs> Baskets, rods encased in rubber. Anglers, are we? Rodmen? 
Just think of all those fish, glassy-eyed, scales coming off in your hands. And what's this, eh? Anorex, binoculars, cameras, more lenses than the Hubble bloody telescope. Twitchers, are we? Just think of all those birds, covered in clag, dropping down dead. Oh, holding hands, lovers in the corner, here they are, eyes for only one another. Lovers, here to soak up the scenic beauty of the countryside. Usually married, usually to somebody else. Oh, you might as well go, you won't find paradise here, you two. Because there's something rotten in paradise. Okay, that's enough. You just emptied my pub. We need Come to on. know the truth. How did you Come. know I was buying that land? You'd be surprised who doesn't like you. Come on out. Blades. I'm Steve. I was... Sophie, come on, there's glasses to collect and plates to wash. Thanks to his dad. That went down well. What? Oh, she's his niece. Is she? What do I do then? Come on, if you want to impress her, they like a bit of romance. Be reckless, make a grand gesture. Whatever it is, do it big. Oh, come on. I'll tell you what, I've got a lover's delight supper. You can have that on my house tonight. Sorry, thank you very much. Mr. and Mrs. Smith. Sophie. I'd like to see you. Well, you are seeing me. I want to say something. Mm -hmm. Well, could you... Sophie, come on. I'm coming. What? <laughs> Tomorrow morning, 7, Clifftop, East Beach. 7? Yeah. All right. Yes. They've gone. All of them. Every last one of my guests has left. Tell me about it. I've been pulling tissues on this tub for nearly four hours. I'm not going to afford that off-season, hmm? Very cosy. Well, what else is there to do? This poison. Is George Blade right? The voice of bright heaven. Menace or local hero? Well, the results aren't It won't be for several days. Could be a week. There'll be no customers left in a week. George has started a panic. I'll do what I can. Us do we all. Mel's telephone number. She rang. <clears throat> Right, I'll, uh, I'll chase it up. What are you doing? Lab report. I'll get the results as soon as I can. Thanks, Elvis. What? What did I do? Just checking on Jake. Looks like the punters aren't the only ones who are leaving. I've tried it, Tony. It's purgatory, and I'm, I'm built for better things. Oh, yes. Ambition. Oh, I can understand that. Bigger and better. Isn't that what we all want? I guess some of us are just never satisfied. Sorry. said about the grand gesture. It's all in place. Good. Did you ring Mel yet? Keys are on the side. 
find him on the floor. What are you doing for this time? Drinking tea. Weather dry today. Occasional sunny spells. Steve. Steve. Mike, it worked. I think it worked. There's been another spillage in paradise. Meet me here with a tractor, will you? I can't go out with you. But I wanted you to ride in my tractor. It's fitted with a 40 kph kit. Is that good? Very. There's no one else. I just thought you should know. Because I'm a blade, isn't it? Look, I don't know you. All I hear is that your family are trouble. Well, you're right. It's all I hear. Wanted us to rake the beach together. Not very romantic, is it? At least you could have cleaned it. Look, I'm sorry. I, I, I've got to go. the campaign look for the truth or a little revenge you're getting to be quite the local celebrity George I'm thinking of changing that just for the articles naturally thinking of getting rid of the George using something more professional you know like that swampy what about grotty I've heard you call worse. It's an identical batch. Were those tracks here yesterday? Don't know. We went on this part of the beach yesterday. The toxic scare in Bridehaven continues to be catastrophic news for the local tourism industry. A spokesman for the local Chamber of Commerce has expressed his growing concerns at the sudden downturn in... Lads! Lads! <laughs> you, you don't believe everything you read in the local rag, surely? Off. Well, so you're really going then? When there's a big shoal of fishes just been spotted off the bay. Come on. No, no. Look. Look at them. Look at them. They'd walk through your front room if they thought they could claim a right away. One with a silage and a pack in their rucksacks. With you. I haven't done nothing. You're using the tractor. What? The lockbook doesn't match the hour meter. Steve, what are you talking about? It's been used. Well, don't look at me. What about the keys? Well, what about the keys? I found them on the floor. Why are you up at the crack of dawn? Why'd you look wrecked? 
Go away, Steve. You know what you're doing, don't you? Apart from the misappropriation of council property, what between you and Dad, you're ruining my love life. Jane, I need to have a word with you. What? Hear that? No. What? Silence. And golden it is. Yeah, well, it scares me to death. You're a sad, sorry little man. <laughs> I'm spoken like someone who's not afraid of being fired. I'm not. Look, I'm glad you've come. I've got to resign now. I've had enough. You think you're going to make a good lawyer? I know I will. We'll come back when you've qualified. Maybe I'll make a good client. Tony Simpson, local bigwig. Now, my station's planning a profile on the man that would purchase Poison Beach. <laughs> He'll love that, especially when he hears what I've dug up. Maybe your family's run foul of Mr. Big in the past. That young man is not the issue. All right, then. Grotty, what is the real issue? Blue Shark. That's all it is. I think we should pull out. Hey? Eh? I mean it, Tony. I'm not interested in worthless land. I've got better things to do with that money. <laughs> but, but where's the proof? Uh, I mean, we haven't even had the, the, the reports through yet. Yeah? Doesn't need proof. People are leaving. That's what matters. Oh, yeah, yeah, you've changed your tune. Blue Shark brings Bay Blues. Blue Shark. I blame Nichols. I blame... Blue Shark. What are you talking about? Old MOD trials, Vessel. <laughs> the crew were told it was some new kind of... Uh, Smoke screen. Artificial fog, they called it. Is your rabbit pie still on? Yeah. But shouldn't it be something vegetarian for today's eco-warrior? It wasn't artificial fog. It was a chemical warfare experiment. <laughs> Drift <laughs> trials up and down this coast years ago. Hey, what about a tuna sandwich? Hardly dolphin friendly. Chemical warfare experiment? Uh, oh, I... It drifted too far. People were ill. Some of them died. Oh. Pneumonia, they said. The blokes... They lied. Hey, forget it. I'll have the steak and kidney. Hearsay. Where's the proof? Chips or baked potato? Rumour had it they dumped the barrels in the sea. Rumour has it. They've just turned up. What? What? Uh, Vic! Vic! Oh, wait! Oh, hang on. Uh, he's a nutter, Vic! Vic! Chips. But only because you've got no lentils on the menu. I'd say they're losing interest in that beach, wouldn't you? Mm. Hey, what have you got for pudding that's politically correct and goes with custard? Vic! Vic! You see that? That is my future. Easing away smoothly on six cylinders. And you, you could have done something to keep this quiet. What's the latest on the poison? Any results here? How's Liam? This is mad. I'm going to the lab. I'm not coming back till I've got that report. See if it's up. Oh, that's my boy. What is going on? Jason Blade's up to no good. He's involved. I just know it. You ask his brother, Steve. Maybe I will. I'll keep an eye on Jason. 
I'll talk to Steve. Thanks, Marco. Now, now, now. As much as I relish your company, and who wouldn't? What? Oh, you going somewhere? Shouldn't you be out disrupting a bypass or something? What's the hurry? I hardly swamped. Exactly. Go and dig yourself a tunnel. I've got business elsewhere. Oh. I'm shutting up shop. I'm going to get my wheels from the garage. Unleaded wheels, I hope. Any place, Harleypool. Leaving the last of Mel's bags. I need an adventure. Now, don't you get stuck up any treetops while I'm gone. This is your on-the-spot reporter relaying the very latest dramatic developments of one man's campaign to discover the truth. Grotty, the voice of Bridehaven, a voice for the moment curiously still. Great, what next? I see what you mean about your family. I can't win, can I? Oh, no, I never said come that. Come on, Sophie, come on. Amongst other things. Can you believe it? I asked her for a date in my tractor. I've seen your dad. He really hates Tony Simpson. It's nice to see him committed to something. And what about Jason? He's taking the tractor to paradise. How do you know? There's different tracks down there, discrepancies between the hour meter and the logbook. Keep a logbook for your tractor? That must be fascinating. Standard practice. It's like a taxi meter. If the tractor idles, then it ticks over slowly. As the work rate increases, so does the hour meter. Yeah, how big's the discrepancy? A couple of hours last night, same the night before. I washed it last night. This morning it's filthy. I'm the only one with a set of keys. How do you know Jason took it? Well, he hasn't said anything to me, but I know he's up to something. What am I going to tell Mike? The truth, as and when you know it. Come on. Where are we going? Let's go for a ride in your tractor. Let's hope we don't need to get involved with any high-speed car chases. Right, two hours there and back. There's not much between here and Paradise, just a couple of tracks. And according to the map, just a couple of files on each one. So we'll take them off as we go by. We'll find it. Bridehaven, I rang. For the results? There's been another spillage. I thought this might help. You were told it could take over a week. So why don't you test this then? John, would you get down here, please?
Sorry, mate, no flowers. For Mrs. Blake. This is Rita Blake. She'll know where they're from. You're not coming in, then? for bringing this lot. My pleasure. Did you, um, give Mike my number? Hasn't he rang you yet? Well, might have done. I've been out a lot. Mel. Do you think you're going to like it here? Yeah. Yes. I've seen films about unrequited love. People top themselves. Oh, right here. It's the last property for Mile. It's got to be here. Go for it. What? Turn right now. That's a bit better. Phil, you get that for me. Excuse me, Mr. Nichols. Hello. Your results. Hello? Cross line or something. Wrong number. Steve. Steve. Drums look the same. Yeah. This stuff's red, though. It doesn't smell the same. Mm. This is Hytra. Eh? What's that? Transmission in hydraulic fluid. Mixed with something rather nasty, perhaps. Ooh! Oh, it's slurry. <laughs> it's a bit of slurry. What do we do next? Catch him red-handed. No, what do I do next? She's coming, she's coming. No, just, just be yourself. Just be yourself. No, don't look. I'm a blade, though. You're Steve Blade. There's a difference. She should know that. Oh, Mike and his grand gesture. What does he know about women? If you want to know about women, ask another woman. Show her, Steve. Show her what she might be missing. Come 
Can I ring you later? What are you doing? I'm having a fish supper with Mike, all right? It's a big fish, but it's not big enough for three. Catch your own. <laughs> Who was that, then? Just an old friend. Can't let go. Oh, I see. You're not Jason, just as you're not your father, just as I'm not my uncle. It's a relief. You've got a very hairy uncle. <laughs> Look, um, I'm not staying. I'm only here while my parents are getting divorced. It's always about families, isn't it? They're talking about all those things that didn't used to matter. It's always the people you love. You love you who hurt you the most, isn't it? You seem pretty together about it, though. Well, I've got a life beyond my parents. I'll serve you. I've set the table, you could grab the fish. It's empty. It's not even on. Um, no, no, it's, it's not in the oven. It's, um... The dishwasher. Oh. Yeah, I, I, I steamed it. I, I wanted to steam it. Okay. <gasps> You've been living on your own far too long. <laughs> Should we eat? Made a bit more of an effort here. It was slurry. I know. Mixed with transmission fluid. What do you mean you know? Because Jason Blade is using your tractor and dumping slurry, but this fish needs a source. My tractor? What's what's wrong with my fish? Hey, relax. I've got a plan. Oh, now you've got a plan. What else did you expect? I suppose you know who that is. Auntie Nichols. Rooftop vigil. I heard you've been asleep up there all day. <laughs> Got myself another news flash, though, didn't I? Now here's something worthy of a news flash. Jason Blade makes the tea. Enjoy it. What, you're not eating? Go on out, then. No, I'm going to bed. It's ten past nine. All right, tell Steve uh, his dinner's in the oven. <laughs> well, at least we know it's got nothing to do with toxic waste or any chemical warfare nonsense. Oh, that's right. It's Jason Blair dumping slurry. And earning money, the fancy cosmetics for Rita. Mm, somebody's paying him to do it. A third party. Look, you don't know any of this. You just think you do. So now we have to catch him in the act. I've got another plan. And this fish needs a little sauce. Well, quitting the arcade, turning private detective. You yeah, have been busy. Anything else, Nancy? Man? <laughs> it's like I got dumped. Well, shouldn't we be telling him the plan? Mm, mm, no, no, no. no, no later. later. No.
What? Who is it? What is it? What? Is it? What? What? If it what? wasn't Grotty, the eco warrior. What? Dumping gunk at paradise. Why? I did from, I did from my wife Rita. I mean, we just had a chance to get back at Simpson. It was only a bit of slurry. It wasn't doing any harm. It wasn't doing any damage. I just wanted to scupper his terrible land deal. That was all. Who are you working for? Um, I didn't take any money. That could be a fool. <laughs> Who told you about Simpson? He said it would be he said it would be a good idea to get back at him. Who did? But tell us or we'll tell the police. Morley was Vic Morley wanted to double cross Simpson so he could get the land for himself cheap. But why you, Dad? Damn. Oh Steve. Steve? <laughs> Look, it's not funny. <laughs> Doing this for your mother, Steve. Be my way of getting my own back. To do something finally. So what's Jason been doing? Another day like today, and even the seagulls will be leaving. Morning. Present from Mike. Do I know this insanely cheerful person? I'm the best employee you once had. Sign anything, gentlemen? Yes, because if you do, you'll be selling Paradise way too cheaply. It's worth a lot more than whatever he's offering. Tony, I... Shut up, Vic. I know. I know everything. You thought you'd cut me out of the deal? Drive the price down, scare me off with a lot of garbage about toxic waste? And, gentlemen, the toxic story is garbage. A copy of the sample report. Bet you thought you'd have them all signed up before that came out, didn't you, Vic? Well, you've probably got a lot to talk about. I'll leave you to it. <clears throat> Boys. <laughs> Boys. Do I get the job, then? What job? You said you were going to be a lawyer. Exactly. I've got lawyers. You need a personal legal consultant to stop you getting involved with people like him in the first place. You're not qualified. But I will be when you've paid my course fees. An investment in both our futures. Monday morning, my office, nine o'clock sharp. I really am sorry, son. You know you're in the wrong, Dad. Yes, I know. Oi. But for the right reasons. So, paper round. <laughs> Lacking a bit in street cred, innit? I thought image was everything. Yeah, yeah, so just keep it down, Steve. You saw Mum. So? How do you know? Little bird. I didn't actually see her. I couldn't face her, Steve. So I just left some things. With the money from your round. Oh, Jace, you're so sweet. No, I, I, but I nicked the flowers. You look like someone saw on your sandcastle. Somebody did. Fell flat on his face. 
Thank you. This is a thanks I get. Arbor Master Skibby. Cleaning seaweed. You can shut up and all. Yeah, yeah, I rang her. About time. Well, maybe it's about someone else. Where's that bacon roll? What are you talking about? Who's got someone else? Well, maybe we both have. Cheers. Far more than that. Woman trouble? Only I've helped out before. Nothing I can't handle. Oh, really? When the time's right. <laughs> 